It's been barely a month since the Moon administration's launch. Already the prospects for a cooperative government it strives for appears rather dim. The president's supplementary budget for job creation also seems set to be met with strong resistance by lawmakers. Shin Zemin has the latest from Parliament. The three major political parties have stood against the ratification of the ruling party-led supplementary budget bill that hasn't even been submitted to the parliament yet. The main opposition Liberty Korea Party, the center-left People's Party, and the minor opposition Padan Party have formed a united front against the ruling Democratic Party of Korea. Unsatisfied with the passage of the confirmation motion of Prime Minister Lee Na Gyun, Liberty Korea Party has expressed pessimism over the upcoming supplementary budget bill, saying that it does not meet the legal requirements to fulfill the plan of creating jobs. During a presser on Thursday, the acting chair of the main opposition party claimed that the draft of the extra budget must be done under the stipulations of the National Finance Act, but the president's budget plan fails to convey the administration's philosophy and social policy. Moreover, the opposition claims the budget draft shouldn't be passed when the Ministry of Finance is currently in transition mode, with President Moon Jae-in's nominee for the head of the ministry waiting to be verified by the parliament in the coming days. The People's Party relatively echoed the main opposition's stance, saying that the money to create new jobs should come from the annual budget plan and not from a supplementary one. The minor opposition Padden Party said a supplementary budget can only be drawn in case of natural disasters or war, and that the current job deficit in the country can be hardly considered as being part of such category. Meanwhile, Korea's finance ministry is expected to submit a finalized version of the extra budget plan bill to the National Assembly sometime in June. But without the consent of more than two main political parties, it seems like the parliamentary affairs won't be as harmonious as many have expected. Shin Zemin, Arirang News.